That gives the supermarket challenge a really good start to the day. Tin of sweet corn, actually tiny little handful of sweet corn. Don't ignore the margins. Nice, I'm guessing, mid-double mirror. Happy as can be. And we've got all the other little products to go through yet. So, supermarket challenge, you're on. This morning, I was told by Matt we've got the supermarket challenge. Now, right near the set of lakes we're on is a massive, great big Sainsbury's. So I was given a crisp £10 note out of my own wallet, as it happens. He does owe me that. Uh, and, and bundled into Sainsbury's. What I picked up was, I can only use these as, as, as baits for today. I've got a vast array of stuff in the van that I've been banned from. First of all, and I've caught a lot of carp and tench and eels or whatever on these over the past years, cockles. So they are... They're now on one rod, okay? We've got a whole bunch of these on a lot, quite a long hair, tiny bit of foam just to counterbalance them. Cockles, makes sense, yep. Good old spam, now that, I'm not actually losing using it on the hook. I'm chopping it in little tiny bits, putting it in bags, because this, I also purchased, this is the red spicy pepperami. That's on the rig with a bag of spam. Again, this is now out there on a rod with a little bag of chopped up luncheon meat. Good old sweet corn, look at that, the golden grains. Three bits of that, tiny bit of foam, and a few handfuls around it in the margins. Normal pepper army, and in that box with it, it's a little bit of cheese, which hopefully we'll get to try as well. In case the red pepper army didn't work, because as I said, I've not used it, this spicy gear. We've got the normal one in there, tiny little bits, and I'm guessing if I don't get to open that packet, someone will be munching on that this evening whilst fishing. Last but not least, a bag of wholesome and healthy for mold, mold making bread powder. Now, this is, might be a bit strange, but a bit of corn, tiny bit of water out the kettle, some of this, mulch it up to make a nice cloud because we are fishing down the edge, mush up a bit of lunch and meat, a few cockles, whatever I've got here, we can make into a nice cloud using this with a piece of warm, with a little bit of warm water. So that definitely will be. Other than that, if I did want to put stuff in a bag, at the moment the meat is dry, so that's gone in a bag and quite fatty, so there's no need to, to dry it off. If I were to use sweet corn in a bag, or maybe the cockles in a bag, this in the bucket will dry the stuff off, enabling you to put it in either a solid bag or a mesh bag. So my tenner was well spent, although I think I was light by about 80p, and Haribo's, which I would normally have chosen, were more than 80 pence. So we're going to try our best to catch one on each of these uh, products. If we don't, We'd have had a nice day's fishing without using anything from my van. Right, I've had a nice little lead around here. You've got quite a lot of weed on the shelf and it drops, I'm guessing, to about seven, eight foot, maybe six, who cares? Anyway, it goes rock hard where the weed ends. I'll put a couple of handfuls of corn there. Real sweet corn rig. I'm gonna flick this out. Now the, the, uh, the nuggets on there, just to hold the braided little link up, so it settles nicely on the lake bed.
lovely little mad fish. Second one of the trip. First one, slightly better than that big one. I'll say better, bigger than that one. But who cares? We've got hours and hours of fun fishing ahead of us. Let's slip him back. I'll put that rod back in play. Power of sweet corn. Well, it's a couple of hours since we had the last fish, so just a little bit down the bank from us, we've got this lovely little shaded area. Um, so I'm going to drop, it means walking the rod down the bank 20 or 30 yards, but big heavy lead, little pepper army rig, little bit of foam, and then I've got a bucket full of um, the rubby dubby stuff, the smelly stuff, that when this foam comes up, bottom, so deep in these margins, it's brilliant. So we've got that there now. Right on top of it. Yuck. But I'm sure they'll like it. There we go. A little bit of everything there. Unfortunately, no more fish have come my way. Two doubles, still a nice day's fishing on Damsel Lake at Manor Farm Lakes. So thank you very much. And um, that's the Supermarket Challenge, I would say, completed. <laughs>